Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can take a screenshot in Unity and save it as a PNG file. So, this is a follow-up to my how to take a screenshot in Unity and display it on a UI image on a canvas. If you haven't watched it, click the eye up in the corner, this is a direct follow-up. Because we have the code from that tutorial to take a screenshot, and in this tutorial we're just going to be saving it to a file. Let's get into it. So we're going to go to the take screenshot script and make sure you have these four libraries imported at the top of your code. System.io is crucial to this tutorial. So we're going to be creating a function called private void save screenshot and we're going to be passing in our texture 2D which we get here. Inside our save screenshot method we're going to do string file name equals path dot get random file name plus dot png. And this function is part of system.io and just generates a random file name. And then we put dot png on the end because it's going to be a png. And then we're going to do string file path equals path dot combine application dot persistent data path and file name. You can customize where you're saving it. However, persistent data path is a string property in Unity that provides a platform independent path where you can store and access data that should persist between sessions, such as user preferences, game save files, or screenshots. And so we're going to literally be using this for saving a screenshot, because that's one of the examples Unity gives for what you can use it for. Then we're going to do byte array png shot equals screenshot.encode to png. So what's happening here is our texture 2D screenshot is being encoded into the png format. And then we're going to be storing that in a byte array, which we call png shot. After that, we're going to do directory.create directory, path.getDirectory name file path. So what's going on here? So path.getDirectory name file path takes the full file path that's stored in our file path string and extracts the directory part of it, meaning it removes the file name and extension, leaving just the path to the folder where the file is intended to be saved. And then we can do directory.create directory and this takes the directory path and ensures the directory exists. If the, the directory already exists, this method does nothing and no error occurs. However, if a directory doesn't exist, it creates the directory along with any necessary subdirectories. And then we're going to do file.writeallbytes file path png shot. So we're going to be writing a png to where the to the file path, and the png is stored in our byte array, and we're just writing it to the file. Then we're going to do debug.log screenshot save to plus file path so we can easily access it once we've saved it. Lastly, at the bottom of the take screenshot coroutine, just call save screenshot and pass in new screenshot, which is the texture 2D here. With all that, save your work, and we're going to hit the play button. Then we're going to open the console, I'm going to click back on the game, and then hit S. And as you can see, it says screenshot save to this file path. So, if we copy and paste this file path, and open a file explorer, and then paste it in, it opens the image up. So that's our screenshot saved as a PNG. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.